Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 20. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to solve two-step word problem with multiplication and division and check that the answers are reasonable. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently. We will use math in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can model and solve a two-step word problem and check that the answer is reasonable. Rocky spent two hours each on these three activities, basketball, bike, and room. He played basketball, he rode his bike, and cleaned his room. He spent another hour, so that would be one hour, playing with his dog. How many hours did he spend all together? Step one, how many hours did he spend on the three activities that took two hours each? Step two, how many hours did he spend on walking with the dog? If we answer those two questions, we'll be able to determine how many hours he spent altogether. Let's find out. So, the first question is, how many hours did he spend on the three activities that each took two hours. Now I've drawn out a tape diagram where there are three boxes, one for each activity. Each activity took two hours, so my label at the top says two. The label at the bottom is still the unknown. That's what I'm trying to determine first. How many hours did he spend on the three activities? Answer, he spent six hours because three times two equals six. There are three boxes, so I know that's three groups of two. Two, four, six. Now I can fill in my unknown number at the bottom. How many hours did he spend on walking with the dog? Well, he only walked the dog for one hour, and the activity of walking the dog is only one activity. So that would be one times one, and we know that is one. Answer, he spent one hour because one times one equals one. Rocky spent two hours each on these three activities, played basketball, rode his bike, and cleaned his room. He spent another hour playing with his dog. How many hours did he spend altogether? We found our answer by multiplying three times two equals six, and we said that one times one equals one. If we add those together, the total would be six plus one. Let's count up one from six, ready? Six, seven. The answer is seven. He spent seven hours altogether. Rocky spent six hours doing the first three activities and he spent one hour walking the dog. I know that six plus one equals seven.
Lance buys seven golf balls. Each ball costs five dollars. The next day, he buys a box of teas. So that's one box of teas. That also costs five dollars. How much more do the balls cost than the box of teas? How much more? When I see how much more, I know that's always a subtraction because we're trying to find the difference. How much more tells me that we're trying to find the difference. And when we're finding the difference, the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So we should solve the difference between the balls and the box of teas. Step one, what is the cost of the golf balls? Step two, what is the cost of the box of teas? Here's my tape diagram to model the cost of the golf balls. I know that he bought seven boxes or seven golf balls. So I have seven boxes on my tape diagram. Each golf ball costs $5. So my label at the top pointing to one box is $5. The question mark at the bottom represents how much money altogether. So how can I find out how much Lance spent on golf balls? Well, I could count by five, seven times. Let's try that. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So Lance spent $35 on golf balls. Answer, the golf balls cost $35 because seven times five equals 35. Okay, step two, what is the cost of the box of teas? Well, we only have one box because one box costs $5. So what is five times one? The rule is that anytime you multiply a number times one, it is the number. So five times one is five. Finally, we can solve for the difference. Lance bought, buys seven golf balls. Each ball costs $5. He spent $35 in all. The next day, he buys a box of teas that also costs $5. We found that he spent $5 on the box of teas. How much more do the balls cost than the box of teas? So now we have to find the difference. 35 minus five equals 30. Answer, the golf balls cost $30 more than the box of teas. Lance spent $35 on the golf balls and he spent $5 on the box of teas. I know that the difference is $30 because 35 minus five equals 30. Mrs. Modes bakes 40 pies to give to 10 friends. How many pies will one friend get? How many pies will three friends get? Step one, how many pies will one friend get? Step two, how many pies will three friends get? 
To find how many pies one friend will get, we know that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 friends, and there are 40 pies in all. So we need to find how much one friend gets. We could count by tens until we get to 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. Each friend will get one, four pies. Each friend will get four pies because 40 divided by 10 equals four. Step two, how many pies will three friends get? Well, now we know that one friend gets four pies. My label at the top is pointing to three boxes. Three friends with four pies each is the unknown. So now we can multiply four or skip count by four three times. Four, eight, 12. So three friends will get 12 pies. Answer, three friends will get 12 pies because three times four equals 12. Let's put this skill to work with the redraw right question. The test is worth 10 points if all of the answers are correct. Five questions on the test are worth the same number of points. How many points is one correct answer worth? How many points are three correct answers worth? Okay, going back to my question, the whole test is worth 10 points if all of the answers are correct. So the whole test is worth 10 points. All five questions on the test are worth the same number of points. So there are five questions. That means I need five boxes. We don't know how many each is worth. This is one question. So we can count by fives to get to 10 and find our answer. Five, 10. So each question is worth two points. Two, 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 two. We want to know how many points are three correct answers worth. So we're going to point to three boxes. So how many points would three 
answers be worth if they're worth two points each? Let's count by twos three times. Two, four, six. The answer is six. So now I can answer the question. How many points is one correct answer worth? How many points are three correct answers worth? One answer is worth two points because 10 divided by five questions equals two. Three answers are worth what did we say? Six points because three times two equals six. Okay, that's my nice juicy answer that's using words from the question as well as an explanation of how I arrived at my answer. Now I can go back to the answer and see if I got it correct. Now remember, it doesn't have to be the exact words as long as I answered correctly. Answer. A correct answer is worth two points because 10 divided by five equals two. Three correct answers are worth six points because three times two equals six. Okay, now it's your turn to do a read, draw, write question on your own using what you learned today. When you're done and you've answered to the best of your ability, Go to the description box below and check your answer against mine. Mana can make, Monica can make six friendship bracelets in two days. How many bracelets can she make in one day? How many bracelets can she make in three days? Go to your very best and I'll see you in the next video.